Tim's News Explosion. George Galloway, he has been uh, criticised this past week uh, because he had David Clues on, uh, who has uh, been spreading Kate Middleton conspiracy theories that uh, she might be dead after, well, uh, there's been sightings of her, uh, but uh, a lot of people suspect that they are AI, and there was the uh, photoshopped a photo from Mother's Day, uh, which uh, Kate said that uh, she uh, she took the the fall for that. Uh, there there are rumours that uh, she's dead, are uh, being killed, or there is the I saw that the the National Enquirer uh, tabloid uh, in the in the United States uh, claimed uh, that uh, uh, that uh, Kate is in a hospital for a secret eating uh disorder uh, there it, uh, there was a video that uh, was put out uh, on uh the prince prince and princesses of weight twitter x that said that after her abdominal surgery uh kate uh had uh, been diagnosed with uh, cancer and that is and uh, she wanted to break it to her children first uh before telling the public and ask for privacy to uh, recover and so after that, all these people on Twitter X were saying, shame on the those conspiracy theorists. We wish Kate all the all the best. I defend people's rights to believe in conspiracy theories. I mean, regarding the royal family, David Icke has said they're reptilians for 25 years. Uh, it's only recent in recent times that there's been this uh this this uh, push uh to uh ban uh, conspiracy theorists uh, from the web and even criminalize them. France has made illegal criticizing the mRNA vaccines. Though, as a, though conspiracy theories are free speech. It doesn't matter if they're far-fetched or <laughs> and how ridiculous that they are. Uh, they're free speech, and you have the right to believe what you believe, and you can put a convincing you can try and put a convincing case out there. Doesn't mean that people are going to believe it. But according to one of the UK's worst uh, Britons, I uh, and <laughs> I don't know why he didn't make Dan Wooten's uh, list of the fifty worst people in Britain. Jeremy Vine, uh, that uh, who is suing uh, Joey Barton uh, for creating the bike bike nonce hashtag on his uh, Channel Five show. A uh, vine with five. Uh, this is what he suggested. Uh, uh, well, he put a, posed as a question uh, to his talking head uh, guests uh, what needed to be done uh, to suppress uh, the Kate conspiracy theories. Not her, no, 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 all I know. But I mean, like... Jenny, is there any argument to say this will sound crazy? But China does it. We've got to now take control of Twitter and, and shut it down for the time being. I don't think we should take control of, of Twitter and shut it down. I do think we should. Yes, it is a batshit crazy idea, Jeremy Vine, uh, to take control of Twitter, or should I say, and shut it down, or should I say, uh, bat soup crazy? Since he was, uh, uh, he was, he was saying that China does that. Now, Jeremy Vine claimed, oh, "I wasn't saying this. This was I was just posing a question." Although the fact that he thought that that was a question worthy of discussion, even though he prep it, this may sound crazy. I mean, just shows where his mindset is, and he's cont <laughs> despite the fact that he uh, he. he uh, called Alex Belfield the the Jimmy Savile of trolling and uh, got him sent to five and a half years in prison for stalking. Uh, Jeremy Vine continues to post his uh, videos of him stalking motorists uh, with his uh, pervy uh, bike helmet camera and posting them on on Twitter. This may sound crazy, but I propose that. Elon Musk shuts down uh, Jeremy Vine's Twitter X account, and I also propose that he is banned from uh, TV and radio, and also uh, that he's imprisoned for the rest of uh, his life. Tim's news explosion. Tim's news explosion.